Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. It's another beautiful Sunday morning. I <laughs> see what day it was. So I have mowed some more of the yard around the flowers. Had to make it look nice and pretty. There were some innocent bystanders of some flowers when I was weed strimming on this side of the fence. Um, not many. Uh, I think maybe three or so. But I got the whole front yard, if you will. Front and backyard. It's kind of hard to tell if this is the front and the backyard because it faces the road. But really this is kind of like the front yard here as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, so I mowed the grass around here, made it look nice and pretty. Uh, oh, Rex, you're up there. Oh, interesting. Um, I also got the big modern tractor with a baler and two trailers down to the barley field last night as well, which is always fun backing that up and get them all lined up and hitched. But yeah, the front yard is looking rather nice, I do believe. Hopefully we'll get some more extra... So I don't think we'll get more social points. I think we'll get our seven social points. Car didn't stop. How interesting. Uh, yeah, so I had some flowers you can see because, well, there's no flowers there. Uh, but it's looking rather good. But I did hire a guy to plow here. So he's going to be plowing that. Uh, we're plowed here, plowed there, plowed there. So we just got to wait for that to go. But if we come on, look down here. Ready for harvest. Uh, see if I can get to one of my tractors. Yeah, here's the big modern tractor right there. Uh, all lined up, double trailers, good times. Uh, our barley, ta-da, is ready for harvest. Um, so my plan is, um, where is it? Yeah, the barley is at 567, which seems to be a lot lower than it was before. And way low there. So what we're probably going to do is this silo right here. Uh, probably going to buy that. And store our crop in there. Now the thing is, I don't know how much it holds. Uh, we will find out later on. Uh, yes, we got our tractor and our Flegel bull trailer down here already. Everything is looking good, ready to go. Probably won't get to no, be no uh, be, <laughs> Definitely won't be no bailing today. I do not think uh, that would be a tall task to ask. To get this field done today on harvesting. Um, my okay, didn't want to. Didn't look like I was harvesting the first part of the crop there. I'm like, uh, can we harvest some of that, please? That'd be good. All right, so away we go. Like I said, I don't know how much that silo is going to hold, but I think we're going to go ahead, go ahead and put it in there. But it's going to be fun going around here with the baler. Thank God for the auto loader, though. That's going to make our job a lot easier than the last time I did this. It definitely looks like they changed the texture of the straw that comes out when you're doing barley. Or it's just the time of day. Maybe it's the time of day. It's hard to tell. We'll, we'll see later on. But like I said, uh, I don't know. Once we get our trailer full, we'll head on down to that silo. We'll buy it. I don't even remember how much the silo is. I'm going to keep saying the word silo until you get tired of me here and saying the word silo. But we'll head on down there. We'll purchase that because we can. And that price of barley is awfully low. Um, probably because it's not... What, what day is it? It's June 19th, actually. It's been about a week since the last episode. In-game, I mean. Uh, of course, it's been a week since the last episode. But in-game, it's been about a week. So, yeah, we had to wait for this field to turn. I thought at the end of the last episode that I was ready for harvest. And I started recording this episode. And I came down here. I'm like, this barley still looks awfully green. And I clicked on the field. And I'm like, oh, it's only 2% uh, ready for harvest. Which I was like, don't understand why it's only 2% ready. But now it is fully ready. And we're ready. So, at this point, no rush to get the field done because the price is not the greatest. And already we decided to buy the silo and plop it into there. 
And maybe we'll just keep it until next spring. So when next spring comes, uh, usually barley and wheat in the springtime, you get a decent price on it. So maybe we'll wait that long. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and watch last week's episode to see how much the barley was going for. I know I wrote down the price uh, on that piece of paper, and I think I even said I'll probably lose that piece of paper, and I, it's not lost. It's here somewhere. Um, I just don't know where it is. But I do know that price does seem rather low compared to last week, so in the silo it goes. So at some point I also need to probably check on the greenhouses. Um, they're not going to be ready at all because I'll only fast forward a week. But our greenhouse back at the house is the one we got to make sure the moisture controller is right where it needs to be. Not that it matters that much. Also, I found out because sleeping for a week is not something I usually do. Uh, and that's what I did when I found this field was not ready for harvest. I said, I'll just sleep for a week. So I had some workers going. Apparently when you sleep for a week, the workers disappear. So the field that I showed you that we were plowing, uh, he got about 10, 15% of the way done with it. And when I slept for a week, he was gone. He did not hang around to finish the job. So uh, that's the thing. Something I did not do. Alright, so round and round we go here, and I'll take care of this little offset of the field that we have. How are we doing here? Ooh, we're, um, we're almost full. Yeah, so I'm not, at this point, like I said, since we're not really selling the barley, I'm not really in that much of a rush. Um, so pretty much today, what I plan to do is just get a full trailer. And once we get a full trailer, we'll go down and check out that silo, dump it in there, and probably call it a day then I was on the way over here when I brought the modern tractor over I went past a couple of my neighbors apple trees and there were some apples on it so I yanked them off there as quickly as I could I should have them I got 10 apples in my pocket uh, probably actually had more than that because I slept a week and I don't know if apples are like vegetables where when you have them in your pocket, they'll slowly decay or go bad or whatever. I did look around and there's no places to put beehives around those apple trees. So, I guess you can just put beehives only around your house, I guess. I don't know if any of you have had any luck placing beehives around the map other than near your house. I was hoping to get this little cubby hole done here. Before filling up the tra uh, combine, yeah, maybe I can. And I'm also thinking that maybe once we do get a full trailer, maybe we'll do some bailing. Only because sometimes uh, it used to be a problem. But I don't think it is anymore. But one used to be when you got a lot of straw on the ground. The game did not like that at all. And uh, since this is like one of the biggest fields, yeah, we may want to be careful about that. All right, let's go ahead and grab our trailer. The good news is I do have another trailer down here. Not that it matters too much. I don't think my neighbors are probably too happy about that uh, trailer sitting there for... I don't know how long has that been sitting there for. Probably ever since we bought the Flegal Bold trailer. Hmm. Just thinking about cutting down that tree. Oops, that's right. Not hooked up. Can I sneak around this bush or can I drive through the bush? I can drive through that bush, okay. I knew that. I did not check, but we do have a scarecrow in this field, do we not? <clears throat> Something that we need to check on here.
Scarecrow is 10%. Now the problem is... No, that's a crane. Alright, there it is. Alright, so we're all set with a, with a Scarecrow. Don't want to lose that 10%. Especially on a field this size here. Alright, let's get back to the Combine. Empty into our trailer. Seems like a kind of like a hazy day, doesn't it? Does, I mean, it's, uh, it's sunny out, not cloudy, but it seems like it's a hazy morning. So, two more combine loads and we'll have a full trailer and then we'll head on down to the silo. Purchase that and we'll stick it in the storage. Now, hopefully that silo does hold quite a bit. I know the ones back at the farm do not hold nearly enough. Any jobs down here while we're, while we're at it? No, I don't want to... That looks like the only job is up here, which is transport. Transport, deliver tomatoes, fix a building. Hmm. Well, nothing really around here that I'm interested in, so. Need to focus on our own field today. There we go. Fold it in. Turn the header back on. Let's go ahead and fill her up one more time. And then we'll unload it and do it a third time. Probably not enough in the combine to completely fill up the trailer, but I think it's a good good stopping point. I mean, we are going to be close enough to a full combine. Actually, it might actually... It, it, I think it might actually fill the trailer. Because I think usually if I fill the combine every time, uh, three times around, that I usually end up with like almost 3,000 liters, or excuse me, kilograms in the combine. So it might be enough to fill it. See, I can make it around there. There we go. Let's turn the header off. Pipe out. And empty on in. No, I gotta get it just right. Stop it. Stop it. No. There we go. So I do believe it's 32 thousand kilograms that the trailer can hold I turned it off there we go uh, yeah still got 2,000 kilograms left in the combine uh, that's all good and I'll tell you what we're just gonna back up the combine get it off the field that way just by letting it sit there it's not gonna compact our soil down All right, let's head on down to the silo, which I believe, is that it right in front of us? I do believe. I'm trying to remember, I thought I bought a silo somewhere, or did we just go look at them? I don't remember. But since this, 
on the map it says silo for sale. I'm going to say we have not bought this one. Now when I buy one, do I get both? Well, okay, I'm in the, I'm in the area. No, no. You can buy this silo group for $130,000. You be able to store more grain here. All right. You have just bought a new silo group. Now, does it show me? So it's 120,000 kilograms. This is pretty good. Uh, you know what I probably should do before anything goes wrong? I haven't saved the game in a while, so let's uh, go ahead and save the game. It's the last thing that we need, right? I'm going to wait until it says game saved. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this into our silo. Now, it looks like I can probably put two different kind of grains in our silo. Could be about two silos. Can I see? So this one holds 120. So that's, you know, just four, four only four trailers. I won't say only four trailers. But as you can see in this big field that we're doing, we're probably going to fill the silo up. So we'll pull over to the other silo here in a bit so I can see how much that holds. But it's, I'm glad they put these silos in because the ones at the farm did not hold nearly enough. And by putting silos around the map, that's always... It's good because the barley price right now is not the greatest as we saw. Man, this thing takes forever to empty on out, doesn't it? And actually, I got a little bit more. 32,000. <laughs> 1.92. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go over here. What does this one hold? That holds 60. So 180,000 kilograms we can hold. Hmm. Now, the question is can we fit all that into our silos? That's going to be about. Um, I mean, do we want to call it six trailers? Probably five and a half trailers, right? Somewhere in there. We'll just say six. Uh, that's one. I mean, I don't know. That's one trailer, and how much of the crop did we harvest is the question, right? I mean, we can kind of figure this out. So we got one trailer, and we harvested. Let me out. We harvested... Okay, so by this, we should only get four trailers anyways. So I may overspill into the second silo a, a little bit, uh, which is fine. I do believe I bought both of them. Uh, so what we're going to do now, just for a little bit, is uh, make sure all of my trailers are hitched up. Uh, is it R to turn on? Uh, I guess it's R to turn on the harvester. Yeah, that's the baler. Alright. And we can still bail. Okay, it's at 24 mile, uh, excuse me, kilometers an hour. And it switched that grass bale that we had into a straw bale. Already I'm feeling so good because the first time and the only time I bailed this field, it was before the auto loader came along. And yeah, I think I. I want to say this episode had been over a year ago, but I think it was 255 bales we got this field. So I had to run around, pick them up off the ground, put them into the trailer. Oh, that was a fun day. Uh, I think it took me like a full day to actually just run around, pick up bales, and bring them and sell them. Now, back then, though, the bales were worth like $300 per. Now they're... It's hard to say because of the market, uh, but I want to say anywhere from $25 to $50 per bale. And right now, $50 per bale sounds good because I think last time I sold them, they were not that much at all. Already, we got more bales than I thought we would get, so... Not in total, I mean, but... Seems like we're getting tons and tons of bales. So the reason why we're big, using the big modern tractor is because all of our other tractors are at greenhouses, so... <laughs> 
Um, it is what it is. 83% uh, of fuel. That's one thing I did not check, but I shouldn't use much fuel anyways. We're only hauling around bales of straw here. But I think this is what I'll probably do every time I deliver trailers. I'll go around and pick up the straw just because I don't want to have no issues. Uh, like I said, there used to be a problem, and I'm talking about early stages of the game, that when you got too much straw on the ground, or, well, we, yeah, we couldn't do grass back then. But when you got too much straw on the ground, yeah, the game could not handle it, and it would say, you know, it, it, it just got to freeze up on you. But I don't think that's a problem anymore. At least not for me. But better safe than sorry. Oh, we're already starting to pile up a second story of bales. All right. Yeah, this is great that with the auto-loading baler because that just makes this job so much easier. Then we'll make some money off the bales. No place to really store this. We're going to have so many bales, I don't have no place to really store that many. I remember when I first got my cows, and it, that was you know, way before I started doing YouTube videos on this game, but I was storing the... I stored so much straw bales in the, the hay barn, or the straw barn, or whatever, whatever that barn's called. And, um... Yeah, then I realized... You know, the animals don't go through that much food at all. At all. I think we might actually fill up the first trailer here. Round and round we go. And then I'm definitely going to hire someone to plow this field. Because, uh, well, actually, you know what? We might do it. I don't know. It'll be a long process, but uh, we'll get it done. I think to actually plow this field and to cultivate it can take up to two days. A day per. Back in the early days of this, we used to, you know, to turn the field over as quickly as we could. Yeah, it, it it, I think it was like three to four full days uh, from starting of harvest to replanting it. Ooh, it did grab that little section. Alright, one more time around the field just to get it all off the field. Yep, and we're already starting to fill up the second trailer. So I'm hoping in the next update, and because I, I mentioned this a couple times, that uh, I mean, like I did say, the bale prices do change, but there's no way to know how much you're selling the bales for until you go to sell one. Uh, I think it does give the option, though, no, because it's been a while since I sold the bale, but I do believe when you pull in there, It'll say, do you want to sell this many bales for this much money? I wish you can kind of scroll over it and it'll tell you how much the bales are before you go there. Because the only way you know is to actually bring a bale there to find out how much they are. So we bought a silo to store this in. Uh, like I said, we sh I think we'll top off that one silo, the first one we were emptying into. And probably put a little bit into the other one. I do like the fact, though, that there's actually two silos there. So you, can, you actually can store two different kind of crop. At least I think you can. One crop for each silo. But I think we're going to overfill into the second one. Now, was it each trailer holds what, 38 or 40?
I think I want to say they hold 40 a piece or 38 or is it 39? I think it's actually 39 because they really couldn't make it fit 40 on there. But I do like up like the area of the pickup on this uh, baler. So I'm just trying to figure out how many bales I get out of one trailer of grain. And it's uh, quite a lot, actually. I was thinking I might get like one trailer of bales at the most, but you know, we're already like halfway full on the second trailer. That's a lot of bales. Just got a little bit of straw there, we'll pick that up. Perfect. 25% of the field done. I'm not going to bother going up to sell any bales just yet. Uh, I think that's pretty darn good. Uh, yeah, half a day. I said, well, we'll spend a half a day doing all this. Not bad at all. Um, does it tell me how many it holds? Now, if I were to pick up a bale, can I pick up... Yeah, we'll pick up a bale. Does it tell me when I go to... Put the bale on. New. No. I thought you used to be able to see how many bales were on here. Interesting. Uh, but I think it holds 39 for some unknown reason. I don't know why. But there's 25% of our barley field harvested. Uh, putting grain into our new silo because the price is not the greatest. Uh, the bales, like I said, we're just going to sell those upright. And uh, not worry about it. Although I am going to feed the cows a little bit. Going to head on back home. See what the wife is up to. If I can get my sense of direction down. Um, oh, it's Sunday. Yeah, today is Sunday. So the wife might actually be at church. Uh, tell you what we do just to finish this up. We'll just do a little bit of this wonderful stuff here. Because we all know how much I love to use this thing. I gotta make the yard look halfway decent. Although I will say sometimes it's hard to figure out the area that it covers because sometimes it takes out a huge chunk and then other times you're going like over a piece and it doesn't really mow the grass. Now, someone did leave a comment last week that they use a cultivator to do this, and uh, we used to, uh, but I'm trying to use what is in the game given to us and what we're actually supposed to use it for. Sometimes you go right next to an area and you're like, oh yeah, it's doing a great job. And then other areas you go over and it's like, why did it not cut that? I really should just mow in reverse. That would just make it so much easier. There we go. Not the best way of mowing, but we're getting it done. Alright, so that covered that whole section. Interesting. I mean, why wouldn't you mow a lawn on a Sunday anyways, right? Yes, I see that I'm, I'm very hungry, but I'm mowing the lawn. I 
to make sure I get all the grass up because I don't want Rex getting any ticks on him or something like that. Make sure I get around where the pigeons are. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to figure out why I'm doing this because I think what we might be doing is after we finish the barley harvest that we're doing, I may be skipping a lot of time. So, yeah, this lawn's going to look good for like about an episode or two. <laughs> and then we're going to be skipping like weeks at a time here and the grass is just going to come back. But watch out, Rex. It's my first day on the mower, so... sneak through here? Sure I can. I'll get the rest of the weeds from her there. Am I really that hungry here? Hmm. Must be. I'm starving. I mean, I will say using this is definitely a lot faster than using the weed trimmer and going around, but... Alright, so am I going to teleport through the wall again? Uh, yep, I did. Alright, so that's looking a lot better. Little by little, we'll get the yard done. And little by little, we'll get the big field done. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. There we go. And I'll see you next time on the day in the farm. But until then, have a good one. Yeah, my food's down to four. I'm starving. What am I sitting down for? I need to go have lunch.